Oh, there you are from Taylor Swift to Oscar. I was just getting my, my mug here, Jax. I wanted Good to morning. cheers you. Because we Hello. are talking about Oscar buzz. We are. For Taylor Swift. We've got this iconic duo reuniting. Oh, sorry, that, that was rude of me. It's mm. just so nice, I'm a little part. Yeah, you know? and a country musician making history. Yeah. So we've got a lot to get to. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So let's start with Taylor Swift and Oscar Buzz. What is happening? Her songs and videos keep on getting longer, but it's all working out for her because her 14 minute song and video, all too well short film, uh, has been right. nominated for an Oscar. Cool. Yeah, this is huge news. Uh, she did put it out last November, but because of Oscar cutoff dates, et cetera, uh, it wasn't up for consideration last year. So now we're looking at the so 2023. It's, so it's, it's but it's actually been nominated or the it's, buzz is there? No, it's been nominated. Oh. So she's up for an Oscar right now. Yeah. Uh, so she's already hired, I mean, Taylor Swift moves quick. Uh, she's already hired the top in the industry folks to help her campaign because when it comes to Oscar nominations, you have to actually campaign oh, for big it. Time. It's not just, as we know, uh, you know, on pure talent or pure mm. uh, cinematography. It's actually on how you campaign it. So she has some of the best in the business behind her. Oh, I'm sure. It's it's Taylor. She's, I mean, either way, she's a winner, but I'm yeah. very interested to see, could Taylor Swift be an Oscar winner? Why not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. start to stack them up. Exactly. She's got a lot of awards. Exactly. Why not an Oscar? Let's talk about fans of Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, a reunion to discuss. What do you know? Almost 30 years uh, after they've worked together for the last time, either on a record or a wow. album. Uh, of course, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg worked for the first time on The Chronic back in the early 90s, the very legendary album. They are going to be coming back together. Snoop Dogg, uh, in, in Snoop Dogg fashion, gave very, very vague details uh, that the two are going to be coming back together. They are working on something. They are, quote unquote, cooking something up. So hopefully we'll have something from them. The last we saw them together was uh, at the Super Bowl. I was so, obsessed with it. Like, it's just, it's almost comforting in a, yeah. in a weird way. Yeah, it's like a I warm it. wrap blanket. It was like, I like that. Yeah, yeah, the soundtrack to a lot of our youth, know, right? Like, all in one go. I loved it. I thought it was so good. I thought it was one of the best. Um, halftime shows all them. Absolutely. Yeah, and the set too. I just needed the car. Yeah. Like the car. We needed the, the car, car to come. Yeah, yeah. Full hydraulics. Yeah, just we, bumping. we yeah. That, I'm Full sure that hydraulics. Was, they yeah. had their reasons. <laughs> uh, Kane Brown, this is so interesting to me, has a huge performance coming up. Yeah. Is it true that no male country singer has yeah. ever or artist has ever performed at the VMAs? Is so right? I found that incredibly surprising too. I'm really surprised. Uh, and usually it's the males who have the first. I, I guess the first dibs on it, yeah. yeah. Um, but he will be the first male country solo artist. Solo so that, artist, okay. So just solo artist, because there have been bands apparently on stage, uh, but solo artist to do the MTV VMAs later this month. Kane Brown, I mean, has been on a huge run this year from 2018 on, really. Uh, and he is going to be doing a very interactive set, it sounds like. They're really trying to switch things up with the VMAs this year. They're going to be streaming it online. It's going to be very interactive. Uh, they're going to have somewhat of a metaverse component, which, cool. again, Again, we'll, we'll Can you see wrap what No, <laughs> you know what? I can't, but we'll see what, how it's going to yeah. be. Uh, but yeah, Kane Brown's going to be on stage, and it sounds like his fans online are just going wild. So an interactive, um, an interactive show will be will be coming That's for really us. cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know you've made it when yeah. something gets named yeah. after you. Yeah. Let's talk about Missy Elliott. I mean, Missy has won so many awards. She, just back in 2019, was the first uh, female rap artist to make it on the Songwriters Wall of Fame. Uh, but now she has a street named after her and she said yesterday that that means the most uh, she oh, is really? a, originally yeah a Virginia girl oh. and her hometown in Virginia uh, has had a street named after her. I guess uh, one of her fans campaigned for it. not only to recognize you know exactly where she came from the the relevance and the impact that she's had on music and culture uh, but also to attract tourists because they want to have yeah, a street named after yeah, her good point. and bring up uh, bring up tourism in her in her area so yeah she put out a really nice statement on Twitter she's just so grateful she's, she's cool. so she's so you know humble and kind and it's just nice to see these things. I mean, awards are one thing, but something from your hometown yeah. is a whole different, whole different ballgame. Like, where do you live? Yeah. I'm, I live at 31 Missy Elliott Lane. Exactly. What would you, <laughs> if, I don't know, That's what cool. would you have named after you if you could have something named after you? Would it be a school? Would it be a person? Would it be a street? Oh, mm. that's a really good question. Mm. That is a really good question. Uh, a laneway. A laneway. Like something, something small, quaint. Yeah. Yes. Unless it gets a bunch of graffiti <laughs> and weird. But yeah, a laneway. Or it could be cool. I like yeah. that too. And when you drive around Toronto, you see those laneways exactly. too. I, yeah. know, I think it's possible. Jack's alleyway down the road there. <laughs> Jack's yeah. way. I like it. Yeah. Well, we've got to go. Great to see you as always. <laughs> Thank Jack. you so Thank much. You. It's a blast. We'll be right back. Jack's way. Jack's way. Let's go see. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.